Okay, I'm reporting as I promised about the head transplant information. All right, so a Dr. Sergio Canavero, um, he's a, a neuromodulation uh, doctor, whatever that means, uh, in Italy. And he's the first uh, of, of, of person who spoke of the plans to carry out the first human head transplantation. Um, he talked about it first in July of 2013. Now it's come to pass where he's going to actually do it next year. Uh, he named the project Heaven Gemini. Now, Dr. Canavero, he already has uh, a recipient. And they actually have a waiting list of people who want to have their head transplanted on other bodies. And they have lots of volunteers who want to give up their bodies. This is unbelievable. The procedure, which is estimated to take about 100 surgeons, around 36 hours to complete, will involve spinal cord uh, a fusion. So though researchers have seriously questioned the feasibility of Dr. Cavero's plans, it seems the first human head transplantation is a step closer to becoming a reality. Um, a Valery Sperdinov. I'm just going to call him Valerie. He's a Russian guy. He's 30 years old. He's a computer scientist from Russia, and he's the first person to volunteer for this procedure. Uh, he has a disease which is called Wernig Hoffman disease, and it's a rare genetic muscle wasting condition. Uh, and the condition is caused by the loss of motor neurons in the spinal cord and the brain region connected to the spinal cord. So individuals with the disease are unable to walk and are often unable to sit. Uh, uh, as well. So the doctor uh, has said that he wants to help this man who is live, has lived to be 30 when usually the disease that he has you only live uh, to be 20 years old. So it's almost like for him to get a head transplant is like a second chance at life. Well, it is a second chance at life. He's had the disease since he was one years old. He said he can hardly control his body right now and he needs help every day, every minute. Uh, and he's only 30 years old. So now the doctor, Dr. Cavero, he told CNN he has received so many emails and letters from people asking to be considered for the procedure. Uh, many of them have been uh, from transgender individuals seeking a new body. Uh, they want to have their head planted. If they're a man, they want their head planted onto the body of a female. And if they're a female, they want their head transplanted onto the body of a male. So. Uh, the surgeon did say that the first people that he's going to help to undergo the procedure will be those with muscle wasting conditions, uh, like the Russian man valet. Now the procedure, which is estimated to take 100 surgeons around 36 hours to complete, will involve spinal cord fusion. Now it's that C SCF, spinal cord fusion. The head from a donor body will be removed using an ultra sharp blade in order to limit the amount of damage the spinal cord will sustain. And the, the key to SCF is a sharp severance of the cords themselves, the doctor explained in a paper published earlier this year. He said with its attendant minimal damage to both the axons and the white matter and the neurons in the gray lamine, this is the key point. The spinal cord of the donor body will then be fused with the spinal cord of the recipient's head. Chemicals called polyethylene glycol um, will be used to, to help hold the head onto the new body. And the muscles uh, and, and, and blood supply will then be sutured. So this recipient will be kept in a coma for about three to four weeks. And then the spinal cord will be subjected to electrical stimulation via implanted electrodes in order to boost the new nerve connections. The surgeon uh, estimates that with the help of physical therapy, the patient will be able to wake up and use his body uh, within a year. Now, uh, the guy Valley uh, from Russia who needs the new body said he admits he's worried about undergoing the procedure and he's afraid. Um, but he's not very, he's not as afraid as knowing that he's going to die soon if he doesn't have the procedure. He said you have to understand that he doesn't really have uh, any choice about the matter whatsoever. Very, very strange. So, Dr. Canaveral has previously admitted that there are two major challenges with having Gemini. Reconnecting the severed spinal cord and stopping the immune system from rejecting the head. But he claims that recent animal studies have shown the procedure is feasible. Now, 
Uh, most of doctors around the world are not uh, in agreement with it, of course. Uh, he says that he does, Dr. Canaro said he does believe that it will work. Uh, he said he's going to keep the patient in a coma, in a heavy coma, for at least four weeks uh, after the head transplant. Uh, again, uh, this doctor uh, is, is saying that he can do it. And uh, Valet uh, said that he trusts him because he's an experienced neurosurgeon. Uh, he's conducted many serious operations. Of course, he's never, never done anything like this, and we have to think carefully about the, you know, the risk, but he said that he doesn't have anything to lose and that he's ready to do it. So, wow, science is something else. I saw a movie years ago. You should rent it. It's really funny with Rosie Greer. It was called The Man with Two Heads. And now it seems like it's come to pass. Rosie, though, he had to have the head. That he had he had his own head, his own head, and then he had another person's head attached to his shoulder. So it made it like a comedy, but it was looks like it's coming to pass. Except the other head would be gone. So, would you want that? Wow, I bet Christopher Reeves would have tried it. He did everything to try and walk again. Well, science is moving ahead. And I guess maybe in the next hundred years, this will be nothing new. Everybody will have a new body with their head. If your body's falling apart and you want a new body instead of surgery, just put your head on another body. But where are they going to get these bodies from? I wonder like, if they're going to, like, because in that movie I saw, The Man with Two Heads, they, they got men that were on death row and women that were on death row to volunteer to give up their body. Um, but they lied to him. They didn't tell him that that was what was going to happen. They just said they were going to do some experimental procedures on them, and then after that, they would release them from prison if they um, agreed to this um, scientific um, operation that they wanted to do, experiment. But I don't know where they're going. Where are they going to get the bodies from? They're just going to find just a but. You know, I hope this is not the zombie um, stuff I've been hearing about apocalypse and all that. And they just go around and start stealing regular people's bodies. Like, you're just walking down the street and all of a sudden you're snatched. And the next thing you know, you're in an operating room. And you have another person laying on the table right next to you. And you see that you're getting ready to get your head taken off. So somebody else's head could be on your body. Oh, glad I got bars on my windows. Just keep those zombies out. All right, share it. I know you asked me. My niece wanted to hear about this story. She was anxious. She's in the medical field, so I guess it's interesting to her. All right. It was interesting to me, too. I'll be back. I have more stuff to tell you. Good stuff, too.